You're watching Gold Rush on a Russian, we're recapping the season 13 episode, Fight Iron with Iron. So what happened? The episode starts with the rock truck losing a tire, it's fixed, seven minutes later, then a track comes off the 480. And even though it supposedly happens on camera with Mitch bouncing around in the cab, the wide shot clearly shows Tyson driving the excavator. I mean, you can see his dog right there. Anyway, it's fixed, and a cleanup finds 139.3 ounces, giving Parker 1,343.75 ounces for the season. Remember six weeks ago when it was snowy and muddy everywhere? Well, that's back again, somehow. Except when it isn't, except when it is. This week's crisis? A D6 loses a track. So it's hauled for repairs with a D10, until the D10 gets stuck in the mud, so it's hauled with an excavator. And the uneventful week's cleanup finds 176.92 ounces, giving Tony 828 ounces for the season. And Fred is still chopping away at the ice sheet, which they are back to calling a glacier. Have they no respect for science? Ugh. Meanwhile, he finds an area that might be thawed, but he will need to build a road to it. To do so, he needs someone to transport his dozer. After a long, stilted, and boring conversation, Tony agrees to do it. Due to copyright laws, I can't play the conversation, but my Gold Rush AI generator believes it sounded something like this. I am veteran. Can you move my veteran dozer? You want me to move dozer? Tell me ASASASAP. In the military, I was a sniper squad leader, medic special forces tank commander, first class five star lieutenant captain general. You better have the money I will need to move your dozer. As I will need money to move your dozer. Swear, 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 curse, curse, curse. Did you see my beard? Yes, you have a beard. As I, too, have a beard. Shall we touch our beards together? Let us make it happening. Then there is this weird panic to get the dozer ready to transport before Tony's crew arrives, which apparently is happening on the same afternoon they go to ready it. And we're told it gets done with only moments to spare. But considering there is a complete change of seasons and a change of clothes between when they get it ready to when the moving team arrives, I'm guessing a malevolent time-traveling entity is to blame. Fred's cleanup funds. <laughs> no, I'm, there's nothing. Nothing. Tune in next time when we finally realize why Fred has such trouble making friends. He just can't seem to break the ice. I mean, it's six weeks of him. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, watch the old episodes, leave a comment below, and I'll be back again next week.